I'm now going to demonstrate how to work on a problem set for this course, in particular, how to work with R Markdown and R Studio Cloud. So, go to the Problem Sets tab of the course webpage. Here are the instructions. I'm giving you a hint for this particular problem set. I'm showing you what the result should be. In the end, your problem set submission should match this one. The goal of this problem set is to recreate this figure, specifically figure 2.1 from Modern Dive. The first thing we need to do is get this template problem set 2 R markdown file from the course webpage onto R Studio Cloud. The first thing we're going to do is we'll download this particular file. Save file. Now this file is on our computer. We need to get this file onto RStudio Cloud. The way you do that is go to RStudio Cloud, to the Files tab, and click Upload. Browse. Great. We have two versions of the exact same file here, so let me just submit the original one. Click, open, OK. We now see we have the file PSO2RMD inside RStudio Cloud. Let's click that. As we described earlier, this is an R markdown file that combines R code and text. You are going to write your name here. Then, you can ignore this code block. This code block merely sets the figure widths and the figure heights and other parameters for the document. The first code block of interest is this one right here. Let's click play to take this code and run it in the console. If you look at your console, what this has done is that it has loaded the following three packages. Keep in mind that I've previously installed all these packages you may need to install, for example, the Gapminder package. The way R Markdown works is it runs through all code sequentially. So let's go through and run the code chunks individually. Now you've reached the point of question one. This is where you're going to write your code. But before you do that, Let's knit the entire document to HTML format. Once you've disabled your pop-up blocker, you should see something like this. It is a blank template of the homework. But if you scroll down, you'll see that the figure does not exist. This is because you are going to need to write the code that creates the figure in that code block. Notice, however, there's a new file that showed up here, pso2.html. This is the file that you'll be submitting on Moodle. But now, how do we get this file that exists on RStudio Cloud onto Moodle? Well, we're going to need to download it onto your computer first, and from your computer, submit it to Moodle. The way we do that is, we'll click on all the files here that we want to get onto our computer, Go to More, Export, Download. What this will do is, this will save that file onto your computer. So now if I go to my Downloads window, or my Downloads folder, you can see this file now exists. This is the file you'll be submitting on Moodle. Not the original R Markdown document, but the output HTML document.